Hi guys, welcome to Jason's Trucking Info. I'm Jason, and I'm going to go over just a couple simple things about managing your time by always establishing the right order of operations and the right habits on the truck. And also, if you, especially if you get your information over a Qualcomm, this will definitely help you using a pocketbook sized notebook to write down all your information. So hopefully this version of this, I just did this same little tidbit and it came across all um, like like vibrating my voice or something. So hopefully that ain't the case this time. Let's check this out. All right. So let's get on to the video guys. Thank you. Alright guys, so what I want to talk to you guys about is using a notebook to write down your load information. This works especially well if you use Qualcomm to get your load messages. When you get your um, load messages then uh, this works awesome for Qualcomm. It may work for others too, but I've been using little pocket notebooks to write down the preliminary inf information such as trip number and freight bill and pickup numbers and stuff. And then the shipper and shipper name and address and then phone numbers and any kind of other confirmation numbers and things that you need to know that you get. And then if you flip it over on the back and put the consignee information on the back. I've been doing this the same way for years whenever I've worked at a job, especially with Qualcomm messages where I get loads over the Qualcomm. This works awesome for that. I don't know if this will work that well for other um, ways that you get dispatched but it's definitely a great way to keep track of information for like when you having a little notebook and a pen and write, being able to write down little notes on the fly is very very helpful in trucking because they tell you what door you're going how many times have they told you what door you're going to go to and you forget because you didn't write it down you're trying to remember and then someone you either get a phone call or just for whatever reason something distracts you and then you've lost lost it and you go oh crap was that was that door 105 or was that door something else you know and you're trying to remember just any kinds of information that you need to remember that are really important like when they're telling you stuff you write down okay I gotta go by door this and this I gotta back into this door I gotta bring my paperwork here or whatever uh, if sometimes when you're fueling you gotta know your mileage and sometimes it's hard to remember you look at your mileage on the dash and then you jump down and you start pressing buttons on the stupid keypad for at the fuel pump and then you get the other numbers that you're typing in by the time you get done typing those met those numbers in you forget your mileage and then you gotta go look again and sometimes there's like a time limit and sometimes you'll time out before you can get all the information there so writing down everything you need to know on your notebook and having a notebook candy to keep in your pocket or something is invaluable so let me show you this is the load I'm getting ready to do okay see there Let's go to the top. Whoop. Dang thing. Alright. 
see here, trip info. Lighting kind of really sucks. You write down all the address, the phone numbers, the trip number, the miles you're going to get, whether or not you have to set a temp, if you got a reefer, the pickup date and time, and whether it's preloaded or not, pieces and weight, which is never accurate because it's always different when you're done. You got customer load numbers, and then you go down here and you got where you're going to. This is gonna be a Walmart. And you know all them, most of you know what Walmarts are like. Good Lord, all right. So, obviously I don't have that. That's on the back page, so. You flip the page over, and you use the back to write down all that. You see that? Then every little number that you need to use. Yeah, let's see. It's right there at your fingertips. Okay. And there's just not a good place to put a can there. That's slightly better. Camera's a little precarious right there. But yes, that's how I do that. The other thing is, is you do that. You establish habits of everything you do on the truck. From the time you everything from the, from the time you write down your information on the, in your book to do your load accept and stuff, especially if you use, this works especially well with Qualcomm and possibly with other, other systems out there, but definitely for Qualcomm. If you're um, using others, it's still good to have a pocketbook to write down stuff. You want to establish habits on the truck. Always establish good habits and always keeping the order of operations the same. Front to back and back to front. So like when you're dropping a trailer, there's a certain order that you want to do things. And then when you're picking up a trailer, there's a certain order you do things in the exact same way, only the complete reverse right and you want to do that so that no matter what you do around the truck have a routine for everything you do so that whenever you accidentally miss a step it is so ingrained in you that you'll know that you messed up and you'll have to go through and go what did I forget? I just messed up. I know I forgot to do something because I got here to this point too fast. Did I do this? Did I do that? Where did I where did I skip a step? And that will help you on the truck. It help it helps me because I always I always take off the airlines in a certain way and put them on the things that you put them on on the back the same order I always take the trailer line off first and then the electrical line and put it in and then uh, then the blue line and stick on there okay and then I and then I go um, check to make sure that the fifth wheel pin is on and on these there's an extra bolt you got to make sure is all the way in because there's an extra thing going on in our fifth wheel plates here bang bang and you got to make sure that the 
the pin is in and the bolt is also in and there's like a like a bolt with a nut and a like a washer type deal all together and if it's not all the way up against the front of that fifth wheel plate then you also know that it's not perfectly connected and then you go back and you dolly up your um, your landing gear walk around checking your lights hopefully remember to turn on your hazards so you can check all that some people go the extra mile and turn on their left turn signal and their right turn signal and they go through the whole nine yards most drivers after a while they don't bother with all that all the time they do it once in a while just to make sure that they don't have any lights out but they don't worry about it every day everybody's different though you should be doing it every day it's what you should be doing but not everybody does it all the time uh, that's just another way that we start to get complacent on the truck and start not doing everything and then we start skipping stuff and missing stuff so try to make sure you're always doing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing when you should be doing that and uh, checking your fluids under your hood all the time checking your tires real good on a constant basis every time you get in and out of your truck you should be walking by your truck and if you walk by one side of your truck to go when you get out you should walk by the other side of your truck to come back in and be checking out your truck the whole time uh, obviously if you're parked your lights might not be on depending it's situational but always walk by your equipment checking stuff out to make sure that your truck didn't get hit by another driver make sure that uh, this and that I've got a dash cam going on on the front of my truck so if I'm at a truck stop or something I'll uh, hopefully get them it's motion detected but it's kind of precarious it doesn't always get set off it has to be within a certain spectrum of motion for it to set it off and it's kind of funky that way but uh, it's uh, nice to have I have it going all the time I have a large SD card plugged into it and then I just got to remember that if I know that I've had stuff go on recently to take that and load it up on the computer and then go through and delete all the boring clips where nothing really happened where it just got set off because somebody passed me somebody did this and no big deal hopefully it got a few things that I would like to put on a video later so I'm gonna probably load that up but like I said use you a notebook get you get you one of these little pocket notebooks you can get a pack of them at Walmart for like next to nothing it's like less than a dollar a notebook I think these things are 30 to 50 cents a piece or you can buy like a six to eight pack for like 250 or something or whatever it was I bought two of them they're up here in my cabinet and then a lady gave me this one which I'm probably gonna use it next because this has bigger spirals than this one look much bigger spirals look and there's more pages to this I think too but I've got this much left of this notebook look how much I've used this is just since a um, couple of weeks before Christmas that's how long it's lasted me so you got half of December and most of January we're about to go into February so a month and a half that's about a two month book right there 
<laughs> Tired. Light red. Hopefully they get me unloaded. Alright guys. That's all I wanted to say. You, If you're using Qualcomm, using that pocket notebook to write down your stuff will be invaluable to you. It'll you be a little bit more organized when you're going in for scale tickets, when you're fueling, when you're picking up and dropping off at shippers and receivers. It just hands down. It's nice to have that pocketbook and a pin on you when you're getting out of the truck to do all kinds of different stuff to write things down. And then establish the right habits and routines and order of operations on your truck, whether or not it you and if you're at a team truck, you and your co-driver need to establish the order of operations that you guys do on your truck, all right? It'll help keep you organized. It'll help keep you from messing up as much. It'll lessen the amount of mistakes because whenever you forget to do something, you'll be like, somebody all right. What did I forget? Better retrace my steps. Okay, and then you'll go back through what you just did. You go, oh, I forgot to pull the pin. I forgot to, uh, uh, I got distracted. I forgot to take off my lines or I forgot to put them on or whatever. You know, if you do things in the same order all the time, you'll won't mess up as much. It'll, you'll still make mistakes, but you won't mess up as much. Aha, uh -huh, movement. I feel movement. They're gonna unload me. They just started. All right, still got three hours and 20 minutes on my clock. I'm gonna go get my butt over there to where I'm gonna pick up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give the channel a like, it helps it out. Leave any comments or questions and I will catch you on the next video and try to do something um, equally informative if not better. It may seem like a simple thing, but it will help you, especially if you got Qualcomm and, and trying to establish right habits is invaluable making sure that you establish the right habits so all right guys peace out catch you next video thanks for watching